Okay. Hi everyone. This is Yakub, and uh, now I am going to showing you how to install Eclipse IDE and how to download how to download and how to install Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So let us see, sir, step by step how to download and how to install Eclipse IDE for Java developer. Guys, this is what is Eclipse IDE. See, simple definition. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And uh, who are learning the Java programmer? Who are learning the Java programming language? The Java programmers are Java developer to edit their code, to develop their application. They, they are using Eclipse IDE, guys. So then, okay, every Java developer nowadays using our Eclipse IDE only. So then, then, especially this 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 video for who are going to learning the Java programming language, especially for beginners, and they don't know how to download and how to install. For that, I am going to creating this video. Please, okay. Now, how to download and how to install Eclipse IDE for Java developer. So for that, what we will do, guys. Step number one: visit website. Here is the website www.eclipse.org. So I will show you how to open this uh, uh, website and how to download. And uh, once you visit, there we have a link. Some download button will become. Just click on it, and your downloading will be started. Then after downloading, and uh, your downloading installer, we are going downloading. Then after downloading, just you can double click on it. Automatically, your installation will be start. And before this, guys, so this is my new PC actually. So now in my in my uh, Windows there is no icon with Eclipse ID. So presently, so I am not installed any any Eclipse ID here, right? So after that I will show you. Okay. Now what I am doing? Go with any search engine. Here you can type sir Eclipse IDE download download for Windows. 11. So which operating system you are going to be using, use that one. Just and just click on it, guys. Once you click on it, here we have a many options. Okay, no problem. You can go with this option or this option or this option also. But I am going to going to Eclipse ID for Java developer. Once you click on it, and this link also navigate to www.eclipse.org. Just click on it. And uh, look at here, here is the option. And come to here, Windows 32 bit and x86 bit. So we are Windows. So I am going to downloading the Windows one. Just click on it. Once you click on it, and slowly our downloading will be started, guys. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise, okay. Simply click on here. Okay. Install your favorite desktop ID package. Just click on it. Automatically. And uh, it will show like this. Go with second option. Just click on download. And automatically your downloading will be started, guys. Look at it. And don't go with this folder. And go with this one. Eclipse installer JRE Windows. Like this. So the file size is what's at 128, 129 MB. Guys, understand. Okay. And uh, it will take some time. Just already I downloaded it. So once, once downloading is completed. And this file available in our PC into downloading. So after complete, look at here, after completed, just double click on it, guys. Please follow these steps, double click on it. Our downloading is completed. Now I am going to showing you installation. Once you double click, now it is coming. And uh, here showing many options, guys. Please understand. And don't select Eclipse ID for Java developer. If you select first option, what happened? You can develop only standalone applications. But Java not for standalone. Java for standalone as well as web-based application also. So you guys select second option. Eclipse ID for enterprise Java and web development. Just click on it. And uh, now our installation will be start. Just click on install button. Sir, it will take some time. 
it's loading all all packages libraries internally and start menu entry and create desktop shortcut also create start menu entry and create desktop shortcut also so just uh, keep like this same to same and automatically after complete installation it will create a shortcut also to open our eclipse id need patience it is going to installation it is going to installation It will take time. It will take time. So patience is very, very important here. Now you can see guys here, uh, our Eclipse ID successfully installed. Then what you will do, just click on launch and automatically our, our Eclipse ID will be displayed on our screen. At the same time, observe one thing and here one shortcut also came into our uh, desktop icon. Again, you if you want to open your Eclipse ID, just click on, double click on this icon guys. Automatically, it will show like this and just click on launch. Just click on launch. Now our ID is coming. And here I will show you one sample program. You will get more clarity. Just click on here. And please uh, don't worry about this one. Just close button. Right? And here is our ID. Now just close this everything. And do one thing. Go to the file. Take new. And now I am going to creating the one Java project. So Java, right. So simply I'm creating the Java project, right? Go to file menu, new and create one Java project. So just I am Java project, just I am J, just Java. Okay, Java project. I am creating one folder. Just click next button. Again, do finish. And uh, here click uh, on don't create. Now our folder is created. Once extract this folder, and here we have a one one more folder is came. The folder name is what SRC. Just right click on it and take new and take a one class. The class name is what just uh, I given the test class. And do finish. Now our class is created. Our class is uh, created. And uh, just I am going to give in here. I am creating, okay, uh, just a main. I am going to create it. Okay, what we will do? Public. Public static wide main string ARGS.
just a given okay welcome to okay java program programming like this i can so just remove it this is not required to yes and once you completed save your application here here only right click on it and here we have a option run as java application now you will get the output here that's it guys now you know how to download and how to install and how to create project folder in your eclipse ide and how to create new class and how to run that's it thank you